Hey guys, Nolan here. Today, we're talking about contact and how it's not what you think it is. Before you do that, why not hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified the moment I upload new content. Hmm? So a couple of weeks ago, we did a video about what forward really is and the misconception behind it. And how a lot of people think forward means running around that arena and using the walls to, you know, keep them in line. If you missed it, the link is right there and I'll link it down below too. Don't forget to give it a check out. But today we're going to go a little deeper and talk about contact and the misconceptions people have on it. Ready? Here we go. First, let's talk about what contact isn't. Contact isn't about holding the horse in frame, nor is it about how round the horse is. These are but superficial things the uneducated eye will notice when they see a horse in contact. But secret, contact isn't gained by doing those little things. If I make a horse round, that doesn't mean he's in contact. And if I hold him low, that doesn't mean he's reaching for the bridle. I know to some this will seem obvious, but you'd be surprised how many amateurs, hell, <laughs> even some pros, have a tendency to get caught up in the look. Okay, great, Nolan, but um, why do people talk about that so much when they deal with contact? Little piece of history for you. Back 30 or 40 years, this idea with dressage and contact was a bit more prevalent than it is now. I mean, honestly, back then it wasn't out of the ordinary to be expected to come to your lesson equipped with a set of draw reins. Brace yourself for this one, guys. Roller curve was seen as a possible key to unlock. Dressage was about riding these big ass horses, making them do tricks, and holding them together with every inch of your body. Now, please note this was way before my time, but hearing about this, we can kind of understand why certain people think that contact means holding down or holding together. But those days are in the past, and dressage has moved on. And we have a better understanding of what works and what doesn't. So, let's start. What is contact? Well, let's look at the definition. Contact is a consistent, tension-free connection through the rider's weight and seat, leg and hand. Yes, you heard right. Contact is not just mouth-to-hand connection. Contact comes in three forms. Contact with your seat, contact with your legs, and contact with your hands. What's pretty funny is if you ask majority of riders, not just dressage, all disciplines, the first thing they're going to bring up is the mouth-to-hand connection. I mean, back when I started off being a hunter and, you know, the horse needed to be more packaged up, blah, 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 I was told to shorten the reins which I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Rain contact is the last form of contact between horse and rider. Nobody told me to engage the hind end so he's more into my hand. Nobody told me to use my seat to, I don't know, rebalance or change tempo. No, I was told to fix the front end. And that's backwards. Okay, so let's go a little deeper into this and let's talk about the three forms of contact and the problems riders have with them. Okay, three forms, leg, seat, hands. First thing to know, this isn't a first important, second important, third important thing. You know, where the seat is the most important thing, so it needs to be at 100%. And the legs are, you know, not as important, so they only need to be at 50%. And the hand, oh well, that's the least important, you only need a 2% there. No, 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 no. Each contact, one, two, three, need to be 100% important. Because they're all equally as important as each other. Classical trainers, and by that I mean not real classical trainers, they will have you believe that the seat and your weight is 100% important, your legs are like 2% important, and the hand don't touch the front end. At all. You don't need your hands. Honestly, you don't need to touch the horse's face at all. You're going to hear this a lot on classical dressage Facebook groups. You're probably going to hear it a lot on Twitter. And it's garbage. The horse and rider need acceptance of each other in all three hands, legs, seat. Also, in the groups that I have checked up on here and there, I have also noticed that a lot of these classical trainers like to encourage riders to build up that lower muscle of the neck, which, I'm sorry, no, going around with your head up in the air where you have a big loop in your rein is not correct or classical by any stretch of the imagination. You are building up a U-neck. And for those who don't know, you neck is not good neck. These people also have a hard time keeping consistent in the bridle, which then will lead to the horse's back becoming hard, the lumbar being very tight. And if you're even thinking about trying to go up past level one, level two, good luck with you because you're not gonna be able to ride your horse or hit your marks. It's not happening. And honestly, the reason why I can tell you it's not happening is because I went down that route many, many, many years ago. It doesn't work. 
And if you think that, oh, I'm not touching the face, look, I got a big loop in my brain, the judges are going to give me higher marks, because look, I'm riding completely off my body, you're not getting higher marks, dear. It's not happening either. Because, let's look back at the definition of contact. Contact is a consistent, tension-free connection through horse and rider. So when you have a horse that's holding its neck like this, has a hollow back, isn't listening to legs or letting your legs in, you've missed the point on what contact is. Going this pretend classical way is very frustrating. Hard on both horse and rider, it creates tension. So yeah, both horse and rider is not gonna find it much fun at all. And while your age should at this point slowly start to get quieter, start to become so subtle that they look like they are non-existent, they end up getting louder and harder because the dialogue between the horse and rider is now becoming blocked. And that's what we have for today about contact. Do you have any questions about contact or maybe I've missed something? Let me know down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, it's a little thing, but it really does go a long way. And if you haven't already, why not hit the subscribe button and join the Little Cruiser Guild yourself. We have new videos up every week for your entertainment, but also to make the sports world make a bit more sense. And that's pretty much everything I've got for you guys today, all right? Thank you so much for watching. I am Little Michael Cruz. I'll talk to you